Hi, this is a video to show how to get the cog off of a Shimano internally uh, geared Nexus hub. So we'll just go right into this. The first thing we have here is the shifting mechanism and there is a little tab here that says lock and if we turn that the opposite direction then the arrow is you just twist this this whole thing will come off now. Just like that. And now the next thing we need to get off is there's a little plastic seal right here. Just a little plastic dust cap. That pops right off with your fingernails. And then the next thing is there is a C-clip here. A rather, a rather hefty C-clip that holds the cog in place. And you'll need spreaders to get this off. And this here's a set of spreaders that uses flat plates that spread open. Here's one with pins and uh, you may have one of the other type and there's a gap in the clip which is right here so we'll put the spreaders in here and just have to work it to get yeah, get a hold of the edges and it'll spread that clip open Oops. sometimes you have to rotate it to a good angle so you can get a get a grip on it you need to, once you get that thing open, you can see you have to kind of, they make these really good so they won't come off on accident. But they can make it a little bit trying to get them off. And it helps to have, you know, if you have a flathead screwdriver, sometimes that can help too. You can use that in conjunction with the spreaders. But I can just get a edge on it. I can get the, the screwdriver under the edge there. purchase on it. So there we go. So now we got that over the top. We can just sort of start prying the rest of it up and off the hub. So there we go. So now the C-clip is off. And once you're there, the cog just comes right back, comes right off. And then to put the new cog on, just do everything in reverse. So line up the, uh, the prongs with the three slots on the hub body there. The C-clip is usually easier to get back on than it was to take off. You can get a better grip on it. Let's see here, the screwdriver will help us again. Spreaders back here. There it goes. Oops. The sequence is basically just a very powerful spring because okay, that's on there now. And then the dust cap goes back on. And it just can be pushed on by hand. It's just a press fit. And then to put this back on, you see there's some red dots on this thing. You line up the red dots with the two red dots on the hub. And then you line up the yellow dots. And then rotate the uh, a little tab here to the position of the arrow that says lock and now this is on there and then we have another video that shows how to take the wheel on and off the bike and we're ready to roll <laughs>